This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you're looking to design and build your own website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. And the best part is, there's no coding required at all. There are so many well-created templates to choose from, and the one that I chose for my own website is Hester because I love the simplicity of it. Squarespace is also a great place to create your own portfolio because with just a few clicks, you have all your works laid out beautifully for you. You'll also be able to link all your other social media accounts to your website so you have all your works connected to each other. Go to squarespace.com for 14 days trials and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash christinete to save 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. Once again, thank you so much to Squarespace for working with me on this video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here, my name is Christine. Today's video is a highly highly requested one and I'm sorry that it took me this long but hopefully this video is going to be helpful to those of you that are just starting out and doesn't want to spend $300 on Final Cut Pro or maybe you're just someone that owns a Windows laptop like myself. So without me rambling too much, let's just get right into the video. I'm gonna first start off by sharing the equipment that I use because I do get quite a lot of questions on my laptop somehow. So the laptop that I'm currently using is the MateBook 13 by Huawei. I have been using this for about 3 years now and has given me no issues at all. But one thing I would like to say about it is that it gets heated up very easily. I tried to play The Sims on it once and it got so hot 15 minutes into running the program. So. Yeah, this is definitely not for gaming and it also do get quite hot whenever I'm editing but for this thin of the body, I kind of expected it as long as the software that I'm using doesn't crash so far it hasn't happened on me yet so for filming, the camera that I use is the Canon G7X Mark II which is also the camera that I'm currently using and I sometimes do film on my phone as well even though the quality isn't that great but the phone that I currently have is the iPhone 8 plus and because my laptop doesn't have much space in it i do use an external hard disk whenever i'm editing and this one right here is by the brand my passport i actually got this as a gift from my friends as a way of showing support to me making videos on youtube so that was really sweet of them and i have been using this every single time i edit my videos and the software that I use to edit every single one of my video is Filmora Wondershare. The fee for this software is $70. It's a one-time payment so you don't have to renew it every single year. Personally, I think it's worth the price because this software has everything I need. I don't do crazy cinematic editing so I don't have to use a super powerful editing software. But one thing I would like to say about this software is that the color correcting feature on this software is not good at all. So that's also the reason why I don't really color correct my videos. And if I I do I only use the software to edit the warmth of my clips so that's that and last but not least I do sometimes use my iPad to add cute little doodles to my video but that is definitely optional because I used to do that with my phone which I'm also gonna be showing you guys how I do that later in this video so I always start off my editing process by doing a rough cut for me this is the most tedious and the longest part of the whole editing process so this is the part where i'll just sit there going through hours of footage listening to myself saying the same sentence over and over again just to find that one well-structured sentence and cutting out the rest acting like i said that in one go without stuttering so yeah <laughs> my foam roller is still on right now my foam roller is still on the floor I'm gonna have to take some time to clean up my room like today, but right now I'm super hungry because it's, it's currently 12 30 in the room. This usually takes me about a few hours to get done, but once the rough cut is done, is where the fun comes in. This is the part where I get to add my personal touch and also to make the videos more aesthetically pleasing. So, the first step that I'll usually do is to find the right music for the video that I'm currently editing. And usually, when I'm doing the rough cut, I would kind of have the idea of what kind of music that I want to use for that specific video and I sometimes would reuse the music that I have already downloaded in the past breakfast now <laughs> If I want to look for new music, I would go to SoundCloud or I would go to Thematic because music from Thematics are 100% copyright free, you just have to credit them in your description box. And if I do find music that I like on SoundCloud, I would go to YouTube to check if the music is copyrighted first before using it in my videos. I would go to YouTube, search the name of the song, go to the very bottom of the description box and if it shows what company this song belongs to, it means that this song is copyrighted and if it doesn't then 
it's not. So if it's copyrighted, it means that I won't be able to use this song in my videos and I will usually just add them to my SoundCloud playlist because they are a really great songs. Next is the intro to me. This is the most important part because you want to give a good first impression to the people who have not watched any other of your video before. And also you want to give the viewers a glimpse of what this video is going to be about. I don't know whether if I'm doing it right but I like to have my intro about 20 to 25 seconds long because I think it's um, short enough to put in all the highlights but it's not too long where the video gets a little bit repetitive this is also the part where I like to add cute little doodles to my intro just to make them more personalized so for the doodles on my intro I now do it on my iPad um, with the app Procreate so I like to create them in two layers with slight difference just so that when you put them side to side it kind of looks like they are moving and that's how I create my simple little animation But if you want to make them look even nicer, it's best to create more layers with more like slight differences so the animation will flow even nicer. But yeah, that's how I like to do it. And how I used to do it with my phone is I use this app called PixArt and they have this option where you're able to draw on it. So I set the ratio of the file to 9, 16 and I just doodle on it like so. And I save the file in PNG so the background is transparent and yeah it's really simple you don't have to get an ipad or procreate to add cute little doodles to your video if you want to and if you watch my vlogs you will know that i like to add this vintage camcorder frame kind of thing to my intro as well and i actually got all of it from Fomora itself you just have to go to the effect tab and these are some of my favorite viewfinder frames And my favorite transition is this circle ones that you can find on Fomora itself as well. I always use this in every single one of my videos. One last thing is subtitles. I now use my iPad to handwrite all of my subtitles if I have time. But if I'm rushing to get that video done, I would just use my laptop to type out whatever I want to add to the subtitles of that clip and I get all of my fonts from dafont.com you can find so many different cool fonts on there I'm gonna share with you guys some of my favorite fonts that I always use on my videos so the first one is Cooper Black I always use this in every single one of my video I like that it's like round and cute so next one that I recently just downloaded is called 8-bit style I like that it's like very retro very like video game kind of vibe i don't know what i just said but you get what i mean and the very last font that i want to share with you guys today is chalky chicken i love this font it's just so quirky and i discovered this font sometime around last year and i've just i just really like it <laughs> oh yeah and also i have a few apps recommendation if you guys are looking into editing with your phone yeah it's called Jian Ying. it's actually an app from china so you would have to change the location of your app store in order to download this app but um, even though you don't understand chinese it's really easy to like navigate around the app i think it's a lot better than vlo it has way more stuff than that app and it also has a lot of cool sound effect um, built into this app so definitely give this app a try I don't use this app to do rough cut or anything like that but I just use it specifically for the effects especially these vintage ones right here they are really cool and they have like cool um, camcorder frame kind of thing as well so yeah that's all I have for this video and I hope you guys find this interesting and I'll see you guys in my next video bye